friends, welcome to today's video. So as the title of the video says, I'm going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm and BoxyCharm Premium for January. Uh, just before I begin, uh, I feel like there's no schedule to my channel lately. It's been, it's been like a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, some of you know, some of you don't. I started a new job two weeks ago, so I'm trying to adjust to that. There's just been a lot going on. I've been a little under the weather for the last week, and I do videos because I really love doing videos. So I never want to do a video when I'm not feeling it. So if videos are a little spaced out or not on a usual schedule or sort of there and not there, it's because I'm busy and then hopefully I can do one soon because I always like I like doing them. It's just sometimes life gets in the way and all like not only did I have like learning how to do the, do the new job and all of that, um, I had somebody, I, I live in a condo building, an apartment, I, and, sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, basically somebody went like nuts in the hallway outside my place last night and smashed everything up and was taken away by the police. And now outside the hallway of my apartment is like smashed glass and like some blood smears and stuff. And it's just been it's been a day. So I thought I want to do something that is enjoyable for myself, treat myself a little bit. I actually got these BoxyCharm packages probably on Wednesday of this last week and I just have been so busy. I haven't had a chance to sit down and film this, but I've I, like every time I pass by them, I'm like, oh, I want, it's like little presents to myself. So now is the time, it is the weekend, I get to relax and enjoy this and open up some gifts that I bought for myself and show all of you what is in this month's BoxyCharm and BoxyCharm Premium. So let's start out with regular BoxyCharm and then we can sort of compare the two as we go. I've not been spoiled on anything, which is always my favorite way to open these. And there we go. Let's see if I can see the theme. Yeah, but not actually look at the card. So the theme is breaking the ice. I can never really tell how the theme actually connects with these things. Okay, I see a squeezy bottle. So let's start with that. Is it a face care? Is it a hair care? Uh, ooh, okay. This is Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy. I have a spray of theirs. I feel like I may have included it in a video I did that was kind of little mini reviews uh, because it was a skin spray, but it was kind of like very pepperminty and really like bracing on the skin. Um, but this is a polishing micro exfoliating truffle scrub, I guess which is cool. I like, I don't do it a lot, but maybe every couple of weeks I will use a physical exfoliator on my face. I have the uh, Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion scrub, which I quite enjoy, uh, but considering this is also a micro exfoliating scrub, maybe this will be really good. So it says black truffle extract is in here, apricot seed powder, uh, sweet almond extract, and squalene, and Allentonin. Hmm. Okay, I'll take a closer look into this, but I do like these kinds of skincare products that are a little bit more one-off, like the kind of stuff that isn't necessarily your moisturizer or your cleanser, but sort of extra add-ins to the skincare routine. Next, we have a box. Let's see what this is. Oh, speaking of, it's something from Dr. Brandt. It's a 24-7 retinol eye cream with ruby crystal complex. That's interesting. So I have an eye cream that I'm testing right now, and then I actually have a couple or maybe one other that I want to test. So I am set up for eye creams for a while. So perhaps when I finish using this one, because I'm doing a half face test of no eye cream versus an eye cream, uh, then perhaps the next thing I will do is sort of like one side versus another side so I can test two of them at the same time. This is a potent yet gentle, light reflecting and age fighting eye cream. Sounds good. Being in my 40s, I like anything that is age fighting or age defying. Ooh, another squeezy tube. What do we think this is? Okay, it's another product from Avant. I am currently testing half face of one of their moisturizers. Uh, this I bet you is going to be a pricey item. And let me just show you this actually. So this is a Shea Butter Rice Bran uh, Panthenol Polydecine Age Radiance 8-Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. So a mask, that's awesome. 
Apply a thin layer to clean dry skin, allow to absorb into the skin, no need to wash off. I never really 100% understand what the difference is between a moisturizer and a sleeping mask because aren't you just kind of doing the same thing with it? But more than happy to try that out. I do really enjoy getting skincare. But probably the two things left are going to be makeup. So I'm gonna start with the one that's a tube. I feel like this is either going to be a lip product or a mascara. Just like to put my guesses out there. Okay, this is a mascara and I believe I have tried this one before but I got a mini of it in an Ipsy. This is called uh, Grande Drama. Intense thickening mascara with castor oil. It, it may be, I feel like I maybe would have thrown out the last one that I had because it was like a while ago, it was older. Um, yeah, I still have another mascara I need to test. I'm getting so behind in testing stuff, just being busy. Uh, but I do usually really love getting mascaras and I will be happy to use that one. And now there's some kind of big boxy thing left. So what is this? Okay, it's a Too Faced product, Diamond Light, Diamond Fire Highlighter. I remember when these came out and I remember seeing people um, reviewing these on, if I can get it open, uh, on YouTube. There we go, and if I remember pro oh my gosh, seriously? This seems like excessive packaging, doesn't it? Did it really need to be in this giant box that opened up and then it's in this smaller box? Too Faced is not, a brand that I would normally buy from my own. They're just a little too cutesy and I feel like they have just a little too much drama around them. So, you know, this is the highlighter here. I guess it's supposed to look like it's in a little music case or jewelry box. And then there is the highlight. So it's kind of a blend of like a champagne gold and a pink. It's interesting. It seems kind of dusty and also like it's kind of not doing that much. So it'll be interesting to see. I feel like this could almost be like a all over illuminator. It just doesn't look like that shiny. It looks fairly dusty, but happy to try it out and we will see. I mean, I guess it's giving a little bit of luminosity to my hand there, but it's definitely not like a blingy, like wet looking highlight. That was my regular boxy charm, and I think it was pretty good. I mean, a couple of skincare products, a couple of makeup products, and I think it was kind of a good blend of like brands that people maybe hadn't heard of before and well-known brands. Let's take a quick look at the prices. So it says that the uh, Too Faced Cosmetics Diamond Light Highlighter, uh, the sales price of that, manufacturer's suggested retail price, is $36, which would make it a very expensive highlight in Canadian dollars. The Dr. Brandt Skincare Eye Cream is $55, which, let's face it, for eye cream is probably around what you would expect. The Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Face Exfoliator, uh, the retail price for that is $28. The Avant Skincare, this is the one I knew was gonna be pricey, Eight Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask is $107. I knew that because the moisturizer, I remember seeing the price on that and it was crazy. And the Grande Cosmetics uh, Thickening Mascara, $25. So good value for the box. I do feel like I'm going to use all of this. Um, I think I'm most excited about the skincare stuff, but I'm also kind of looking forward to trying that highlight. So all in all, I'm very happy with that. Now let's get into my BoxyCharm Premium. I feel like this sticker on here maybe means that there's something like aerosol in here. Um, I think there's certain things that have to be marked when stuff is going across the border and I feel like aerosol products might be one of them. I have no idea how that relates to breaking the ice, by the way. And it's the same here. So. I'll set this one up on this side. Here we go, good shot of the two boxes. And I'm just going to reach for stuff. Let's start with the box, what do we got? This is from a brand called Bliss. Pore Patrol Deep Detox Four Clay Souffle Mask. Well, that sounds like something. I think I would enjoy this. Blissfully free from parabens, phthalates, SLS, SLES, and more. They're also cruelty free. Uh, this silky souffle mask aerates with powerful clays, detoxifies, controls oil, and minimizes the look of pores without that dry, tight feeling. Plus, glycolic acid gently exfoliates to make sure pores don't clog up later. Hydrating and cooling, it's the ultimate way to refresh and smooth skin. There is French green and kaolin microclays with willow bark, Moroccan lava, and bentonite powder clay. Interesting. 
I do love testing out masks, so I'm very happy about this. And also a new brand that I haven't heard of, so I do enjoy trying new brands. There's a little pot or a box of something. It's a Natasha Denona product. It's a duochrome top coat in burnt terracotta slash green. So orange and green. Let's take a look at this. That is quite the color. I feel like a little bit of swatching is necessary. Ooh, that is not as creamy as I would have expected it to be. Oh, that is, I mean, I don't know that I'm gonna be, like, this isn't exactly a where to my accounting job kind of thing, but like, look at the duochrome on that. I feel like this, this needs a swatch. I mean, that's pretty cool. I have to play around with that a little bit. That's really cool. I mean, I kind of wish it was a slightly more wearable color for me, but that is pretty pretty. Okay, that's fun. So many boxes and things in here. What's this one? This is Farsali Liquid Glass Radiant Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. I don't think I've ever tried, oh, did I try a Farsali product? Maybe I have. This looks, I mean, Farsali was always kind of known for like the dripping onto the face kind of stuff, right? Try not to spill this, that would suck, wouldn't it? So it looks kind of like a milky with a little bit of a like purple duochrome to it kind of thing. Very cool, happy to try that out. I feel like BoxyCharm is really sort of stepping it up with brands that you would recognize and know from like Sephora um, or just brands that are more recognizable. So what's this box? Okay, it's a brow kit from Billion Dollar Brows, the best brow kit ever. So it's a whole, it's a whole thing. You have in here a universal brow pencil, a brow duo pencil, which is supposed to add the highlight to your brow bone, a smudge brush, and a clear brow gel. Funny enough, I think I'm most excited about the clear brow gel. I have a lot of brows going on right now. I've not had my brows like waxed or plucked in so long, um, but I have fairly thick brows, so I usually don't have to worry about filling them so much, but I would like to control them a little bit more. So that's actually pretty cool. That's a lot of products in one. Awesome. I feel like there's a big palette in here and then one other box. So what's this? Cause, oh, this is, this is big. Is it another thing from, no, Tula Skincare. Keep it clear acne foam cleanser, probiotic skincare, probiotics and superfoods. I mean, that's kind of some cool packaging. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. And it's like light pink and aqua blue. A powerful cleanser that doesn't dry out your skin. This effective yet gentle foam cleanser is where clear skin begins. Formulated with the highest percentage of salicylic acid available without a prescription, it provides major acne clearing power while azelaic acid helps fade marks and dark spots left by past acne. Whether you experience breakouts regularly or only on occasion, this cleanser will be your new BFF. In addition to clearing up existing acne, it helps prevent future breakouts and leaves skin clean, soft and glowing, never dry or tight. They're cruelty free. They don't have all the stuff that you don't want. Um, interesting, I don't have acne prone skin. I have more like aging skin, but I do get breakouts every now and then. So I'm just thinking about this, like is this a product that I want to use? Will it be good for me? They have some, I mean, it's heavy for one. Is this a foam? Yes, yeah, so I think this is probably like, it's not an aerosol product, but I mean, it's some beautiful packaging. Uh, it feels very luxurious, so I don't know, I can try it out. Maybe like certain certain weeks of the month when I tend to have more breakouts than others, I can always give this a go. So the last thing I have in here, I believe, is a palette, just in feeling around. Let me take a look and make sure this is the last item. And it is, so what is it? It's a Too Faced palette. I've actually never used Too Faced shadows. They've just never called to me. Palm Springs Dreams. Cocktail Party Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like this, this is not gonna be my thing. That's okay, 
take a look. It's very pink. Interestingly, they give you a little thing with like suggested eye looks, which is kind of cool. Wow, this is, this is a thing. They're just so cutesy and cutesy's not really my jam. But you know what? Like, it's an interesting, I, it's got some neutrals in there. It's got some shimmers and glitters. I mean, it's got a really pretty like pink to gold duochrome in there. You know, there's some bright, bright colors in there. So there we go, that's the final item. I always enjoy trying out eyeshadow, so why not? I actually really like both of these boxes. I know I've sort of said like some things appeal to me more than others, but I do find they are doing a really good mix, as I said, of skincare, of makeup, of brands that you've heard of, of new brands. Everything does feel very luxurious. So let's just take a look at the prices for BoxyCharm Premium. So the Too Faced Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow palette is supposed to be $45. It's make it a girl's trip to remember with this Palm Springs Dreams inspired palette of fresh cocktail colors and dazzling party ready finishes. Okay. The Tula Skincare Acne Foam Cleanser is a $34 product. The Farsali Liquid Gold Radiant Serum is $54 American. The Natasha Denona Duo Chrome Top Coat is $28 American. The Pore Patrol Mask Deep Detox is $18. That's actually a pretty good price for a mask. And the Billion Dollar Brows Kit is $42. I'm actually pretty happy. I am going to use all of these products in both of these boxes. So I do think that the value was higher in this box, but I wouldn't have been disappointed with either of them this month. They both seemed really good. Um, I would want to know from you guys, if you're interested in me reviewing any of these products, let me know which ones you are interested in. I am going to probably test some of the masks and some of the um, makeup stuff first, just because I do like to take time in testing skincare. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. If, ring the bell, because that's a thing that people do, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!